Hi everybody, thanks for coming along to our virtual viewing of uh, 30 Irvine Crescent today in St Andrews. Um, this property is on the market, it offers over 450,000. Um, what I'm going to do is the full property details are in the link to this post itself. Um, uh, you've also got, so you can click on that at your leisure. So what the format for just now is, I'm going to go through the location itself and talk about St Andrews and what's in St Andrews for the benefit of people who are not in St Andrews or don't know much about St Andrews. Um, we're going to go through a location tour um, so you can see some of the sites in the area and what attracts people to come and stay in St Andrews. We're then going to talk about the, and we're going to look at the floor plan and the area of the property um, and also the interior of the property itself. And then finally, the contact details um, and when you want to get in touch with our office. So I'll just wait for a few people to come on. Hi, Tony. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Craig. Uh, nice to see you joining us. Um, you have the option, if you want to ask any questions as well, uh, you could, uh, we are live, there will be a slight delay, you could put in the comments box if you've got any questions or you want anything answered, I'm uh, more than happy to do that for you. So here's the location, um, so for the benefit of people who don't know St Andrews, um, it's one of Europe's finest towns uh, and it definitely has a place in history and culture and learning and it's a wonderful coastal resort. Uh, and as everybody would probably know, it's the world, it's the home of golf, um, uh, according to the rest of the world and, and us itself. Um, so this is where the Open is played on rotation with the rest of the golf courses. Um, it's blessed with a prolifera of shops, wonderful restaurants. Now, the shops and restaurants, favourites for me, Forgan's, uh, Cromar's, Takeaway, uh, Fish and Chip Shop, uh, The Tail End, Absolutely fantastic. Um, Little Italy, Pizza Place, um, Ziggy's, Adamson's, uh, Mitchell's, uh, Grey Friars, um, Brew Dog for vegans. Uh, definitely a fantastic menu there. Um, the Vic, spent many a night at that place. Um, the Crypt, the Criterion, um, and the Rule. Um, there's lots of other places in uh, Market Street and South Street and North Street, um, including cinemas. Uh, there's a cinema as well, a local cinema, um, and that tends to be the town centre itself. So you can see on this location map to the top right-hand side, um, just then you've got the town centre. Uh, you are located at the bottom left hand, uh, right-hand side, actually. So that's where Irvine Crescent is. So that's where it says you are here. Um, and just next to there, and uh, within a short distance, is the East Sands Leisure Centre. Um, so that's the swimming pool and uh, gymnasium. Um, done spin bike sessions there. I've done uh, uh, swim training there with the East Fife Triathlon Club. Um, it is also the venue for the St Andrews Spring Triathlon, uh, which I've taken part in. And up from there is the East Sands Beach, Golden Sandy Beaches. Uh, it's probably one of the most beautiful locations I know. Um, and the harbour itself as well. Uh, and then round is the cathedral and other places. So um, just coming in from the east sands on your right hand side, you have schooling. So schools, um, there's local primary schools all about the area. Um, the closest one um, is almost next door, um, uh, the St Andrews Nursery and Primary Greyfriars Primary School as well, short distance from the property. Um, you also have the option for high schools. Uh, there's Madras, which is close by just now, but as you'll see next to me, up there. That's where the new Madras College is getting currently built, um, due for completion uh, in the next year or two. Um, and that's where the new Madras will be, will be cited um, for secondary education. There's also the option to go to private education through St. Leonard School, which is uh, just uh, close to the East Sands Beach. If you look on this location map and you'll see at the top of there, you've got St. Leonard School and St. Leonard's Primary. Also, the university is a, a big pool for this area. Um, it has got a thriving university, and it's second in the UK. Um, so it is a well-renowned university with fantastic education. Um, you have in the centre there, you've got the Canongate Primary School, which is quite popular for everyone, and off to the left-hand side below me is the Lawhead Primary. Um, local shops nearby, again, at the bottom centre, 
You've got Marks and Spencers, Aldi's, uh, Morrison's at the very bottom, and you've also got in the side on the right hand side of Morrison's, you've got the St Andrews Hospital. Um, local activities to do. There's lots of clubs locally um, to take part in. Some of the ones, as I said, was uh, East Fife Triathlon Club. You've got running clubs, uh, the St Andrews Park Run. Doesn't run just now because obviously the situation we're in, but it's every Saturday at Creighton Park, um, and I'm often there myself. Um, photography uh, um, is local, uh, well renowned as well. They've got their own Facebook photograph page. There's about ten thousand people on there. Uh, so if you want a wee insight into other sites around the St Andrews area, I urge you to go into the Facebook um, St Andrews Photography page. Um, there's a local sailing club as well down at the East Sands. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and you know, lots of activities to do. So let's uh, dispense with the formalities now because we've spoke about all the location areas and have a wee look for yourself and some of the drone footage. So this is the property itself and it, it obviously shows you um, where everything is and location as, the, as it comes up. Hi Jimmy, thanks for joining us. So the east sand's there, across to your right hand side, the harbour. So almost dead centre to there, that wee green Roof, that's the East Sands Leisure Centre. Cathedral, historic interest. So that five coastal path runs along this beach. And the St Andrews Castle. And across into the background there, you've got the West Sands, which is the, where the famous Chariots of Fire film was filmed. And a race goes on every year, 5k, the Chariots of Fire race. So let's talk about the property itself. Okay, it's a six bedroom, two reception, extended detached villa. It's located, as you'll see in the photographs, on a substantial plot um, and it's in a highly desirable area. So you'll see as we come in the front door, across to your side, you've got your left hand side, you've got the lounge, the right hand side, you've got the family bedroom, you've got a family room or a bedroom to be honest, um, and then off the lounge you've got the dining room and then you've got a bedroom on the other side and another bedroom to the rear, which has an extension off the back and patio doors going out to the rear garden. So in the centre of the ground floor is a downstairs bathroom. Um, you've got the kitchen and a laundry room off the rear as well. So upstairs, two further double bedrooms and another bathroom. So I'm sure it would be a fantastic family home for someone. And you can see the total floor area is uh, 134 square metres, which is a lot of property for your money. Okay. So let's take a look inside. So here's the plot itself. As you can see, they've got the double garage on the front and it's on a corner. And then we've ring fenced the actual size so you get a feel for how big the plot is. And then from the rear of the property as well. Yep, that's right, Jimmy. Walk to the beach, play in the home of golf. Yeah, doesn't get any better. You're absolutely right. Uh, so into the lounge, nice and bright and spacious. Uh, huge double glazed windows to the front to bring in a lot of natural light. You've got double doors there going off to the dining room to the rear. And then into the breakfast and kitchen. So Aga range cooker. That will be left. Everybody loves an aga. And a seating area as well. Okay, laundry to the rear. And then the door going out to the rear garden.
And this is the study downstairs. And then some of the bedrooms. So all double bedrooms all the way throughout, nice and spacious. And the downstairs bathroom. So upstairs, bedrooms, you can see there's plenty of space in them. And again, lots of storage space, as you can see to the right hand side, there's mirror wardrobes. And the double garage to the front. Um, for people that maybe got a workshop or they want to have cars that they need to keep off the road in a garage. And then the rear garden, you can see it's quite spacious. Um, most corner plots actually go into a narrow at the rear, but this is actually pretty big. And you'll probably get the sun all day round here because of the elevation on the roof. You can see it's quite low, so the sun will hit here all the time. So perfect place to relax and enjoy your leisure time. And back to the front of the property. So that is 30 Irvine Crescent in St Andrews, offers over 450,000. Um, big spacious property for your money. Um, lots of local amenities nearby. Um, fantastic location and fantastic town. Um, there's full property details in this listing itself. So you can click on them and go through this all at your own leisure again. Um, and he's there's the property uh, contact details. So if you need to get in touch with us, it's 01334 65 42 21 or email info at fiveproperties.co.uk. I've been Jim Parker, your host for today. Thank you for watching.